The Slave Coast is a historical name formerly used for parts of coastal West Africa along the Bight of Benin. The name is derived from the fact that it was a major source of African slaves during the Atlantic slave trade from the early 16th century to the late 19th century. Other nearby coastal regions historically known by their prime colonial export are the Gold Coast, the Ivory Coast, and the Pepper Coast or Grain Coast. History According to most research, the beginnings of the slave trade in this area are not well documented. It is difficult to track the development of trade in this area and its integration into the transatlantic slave trade before about 1670, when European sources begin to document this trade. The slave trade became so extensive in the 18th and 19th centuries that an Atlantic community was formed. The slave trade was facilitated on the European end by the Portuguese, the Dutch, the French and the British. Slaves went to the New World, mostly to Brazil and the Caribbean. Ports that exported these slaves from Africa include Ouida, Lagos, Anaho, Little Popo, Grand Popo, Agué, Jaicon, Porto Novo, and Badagri. These ports traded in slaves that were supplied from African communities, tribes and kingdoms, including the Alada and Ouida, which were later taken over by the Dahomey Kingdom. Researchers estimate that between 2 and 3 million slaves were exported out of this region and traded for goods like alcohol and tobacco from the Americas and textiles from Europe. Current estimates are that about 12 million Africans were shipped across the Atlantic from West Africa, although the number purchased by traders was considerably higher. This complex exchange fostered political and cultural as well as commercial connections between these three regions. Religions, architectural styles, languages, knowledge, and other new goods were mingled at this time. In addition to the slaves, free men used the exchange routes to travel to new places, and both slaves and free travelers aided in blending European and African cultures. Intermarriage has been documented in ports like Ouida where Europeans were permanently stationed. Communication was quite extensive between all three areas of trade, to the point where even individual slaves could be tracked. After slavery was abolished by European countries, the slave trade continued for a time with independent traders instead of government agents. Cultural integration had become so extensive that the defining characteristics of each culture were increasingly broadened. In the case of Brazilian culture, which had differentiated itself from Portuguese culture through its combination of African, Portuguese and New World traditions. Brazilian style dress, cuisine and speaking Portuguese had become the main requirements for Brazilian identity, regardless of ethnicity, religion, or geographic location. See also Atlantic slave trade Bristol slave trade Dutch Slave Coast Topic References and Sources Topic References 7 Anisa Smith Source Slaw Robin and Kristen Mann African and American Atlantic Worlds The William and Mary Quarterly 3rd Esser 56 to 2 April 1999 pp 307 to 334 Shillington, Kevin. History of Africa, 2nd edition, Macmillan Publishers Limited, NYUSA, 2005. St. Clair, William. The Door of No Return, The History of Cape Coast Castle and the Atlantic Slave Trade. Bluebridge. 